Dr. Range presents Poison Oak. Identify it and avoid it. Poison Oak is a common plant in oak woodlands of California, Oregon, and Washington. It is often mistaken for oak, hence the common name Poison Oak. What we're looking at here is a small oak tree of Oregon white oak, which is a common valley type uh, oak on the western coast. And you notice that it's growing here in the grass in a shrub type stage. This is pretty typical. It starts out as a shrub, but eventually it will break out. And as we pan across the landscape, you'll see these little trees. It breaks out into a single stem tree form. Poison oak is often mixed in with it. And in the case of poison oak, instead of having single leaves, as you see on the oak tree here, you notice it has single leaves. Poison oak has groups of uh, three leaves, and this time of year, poison oak is uh, starting to turn red. So when you see the red leaves, that's a pretty good sign that it's poison oak and not oak. For instance, if we go up here, right here, and there's a mixture of oak and poison oak, and you see the red leaves of poison oak, and you also notice that poison oak has three leaflets that make up each leaf whereas oak just has the one. So here we're looking at poison oak. And also you notice right here there are berries. Poison oak actually does have berries. And the berries are pretty good food for wildlife because the outside of the berry has a waxy coating. And that waxy coating is dissolved off and then the seed goes through the bird or the animal that eats the poison oak berry and then is moved to a new location where a small poison oak plant can come up pretty clever mechanism of getting your seeds around. And birds especially like flickers, big body birds, robins, will come for those berries in the fall. Here we see clusters of the berries. This tells me that this is a female plant. Poison oak does have male and female plants. And only the female plants have the berries. So if you see a plant that doesn't have berries, it can still be poison oak. It may just be a male plant. This is the tree that started to break out form, the tree form. And you'll notice that it does have lots of indentations on the leaf. And if you turn the back of the leaf over, it's kind of a dull shade. And this is a white and oak. And this is an Oregon white oak. And if we look at poison oak over here, we'll move over here to poison oak. We move in, it's again, it's a mixture of poison oak and Oregon white oak. Here we're looking at Oregon white oak. Here's the poison oak. You notice the poison oak leaves three leaflets again per leaf, but also the edges are not scalloped. They're pretty much just rounded off. So the leaves are really quite a different shape between the two. And again, you'll see the two leaves together here. Oak leaf is the green one, and poison oak is starting to turn red now in the fall. So really, leaves are quite distinctive looking. Wow, look at that. It's climbing the tree. It really is. Poison oak will do that. It'll grow almost as liana. You can see it fairly well this time of year because the leaves are red. I've cut some pretty big vines off of oak trees. I've cut them as much as an uh, inch and a half, two inches in diameter. There was one batch I actually bucked up and threw in the truck for firewood before I realized what it was. You really don't want to do that because when you burn poison oak, the oil volatilizes and you can get a very serious watery rash from the smoke. Poison oak is a very versatile plant. Grow in the shade, grow in full sun. Although it really seems to prefer full sun. Unfortunately, as many of us know, Oil from poison oak causes an itchy rash when it comes in contact with the skin of sensitive people. Not everyone is sensitive to poison oak, but your sensitivity does increase with exposure. All parts of the plant contain the irritating oil, including leaves, stems, and even the roots. Surprisingly, only humans seem to get a rash from the plant. Some of the worst cases of poison oak rash that I've ever gotten came from my cat who played in the bushes and then came home and curled up in my lap. Thanks. Some of these bushy ones really show the, the three leaf form very well. They really do. Poison oak, of course, um, this time of year, you have the poison oak is green and the other potential forage is pretty dry. 
and at that time of year livestock actually like poison oak and it's pretty good feed for them provides a little bit of protein and also some vitamins that are lacking in the other forage around we can pretty successfully use sheep to control poison oak on pastures if we want by grazing them uh, in this late August type of year when the other forage is dry and poison oak is still green and really poison oak is not a big weed problem on sheep pastures or even on some cow pastures that are grazed to try to use the animal to control it. It's really great to be outside on a sunny day, but remember to enjoy your time in the field. Oak, poison oak. This is Dr. Range. To learn more about our natural resources, visit me at drrange.com.